little girl that I just picked up from Centennial Park. This is the one that was crawling along the ground. Um, this is a, some glucose and some Hartmann's. Whoa, and you're coughing. Did you? Come on, spit it out. Spit way. it out. Good girl. Just let her recover for a minute. There you go, baby. You better. All right. She's very thirsty and she was onto that like there's she no had tomorrow. Some subcut fluids, so Has she? Look, look, yeah, look. but she wants a drink. Good girl. Okay, I think you're going to be okay. Well, I hope you are, anyhow. She's look lovely. Look at her black face. She's a pretty girl, isn't she? She oh, is. Um... Hello, darling. You're going to be okay, sweetie. We've got you. We've got you. Another baby. little dot to blot. Yes, you can become that. You can become part of the dotty. You see the teeth? Yep. Look at those teeth. See, she's, she's still got, got some baby ones. No. Come here. Are you bit the front of it? Come here. Well, she's <laughs> not going to do it now. No. Look at you, sweetheart. You look a little less squidgy, don't you? Okay, so she's got two stitches in her eyelid. This is the first time that she's actually opening her eyes nice and bright now and she's starting to look around. You were looking sweet, around and you were head bobbing for us. It must be milk coma time. Yeah. Aren't you beautiful? Hey, come here, come here. Come on. You want your adoring audience to see you. Say, hello, I'm Huffle. There you are. There you are. Hold Good it there boy. for a second until you can get some yeah. suction on it. Good boy. No, nah, then he just chucks it. Yeah, let's go and look for another one, a softer one for him. There you are. There you are. Or have you got the idea now? You're going to call me a liar. No climbing. No, he's stitching it. No climbing. No, he's still got it. There you are. <laughs> Look at that belly. Look at that little belly. We're going to go and put milk in that. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Look at you. Hello, sweetheart. Yeah, whoops. Come on then, over you come. There you go. Come on. Hello, darling. Hello, sweetheart. Look at you. This is Piccolo, and he's just been helping himself to everything in the fruit bowl. Pretty awesome, really, isn't it? You're such a big boy now. And that, to me, looks like watermelon nom noms. Look at you, sweetheart. That's Baldrick. Baldrick. Baldrick has discovered the little um, currant grapes. I went and bought more, didn't I? Of course, you both seem to really like them. That's about all you're eating. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, it's feed time. Yep, it is. Sniffies. is Baldrick. Now I've been really worried about these two because they haven't been developing right and growing right and doing all the things they were supposed to be doing. And then I discovered that it was because of Fuss Budget. Fuss Budget would chase them away from the food. She'd hunt them down, attack them and make them stay on their teddy bears. So they were scared to go, go to the food. I put plenty of food out, but she would protect the entire area. She was really, really territorial. 
So, first budget. Hello, darling. Yes, yes, I know. Now you can't come on to me. You have to go and try and find some food. Here we are. Here. You can't climb onto me, but you can climb onto me, apparently. Okay, so where were we? So I sent Fuss Budget off last night to another carer. And within half an hour, these two were playing on the era. They were off their teddy bears. They were exploring everything, licking everything, having little play fights with each other and licking all the fruit and exploring the fruit and eating fruit. And now that's the difference. So fuss budget has been a bit of an issue, but she'll be going north to a separate crèche from these two. Maybe at the end of the week. Are you gonna help yourself to something or you desperately wanna be on me? I know you're very, very handsome. Yes, I know, but you can't come over onto me. No photo bombing. Apparently, you're on me and you've got a fig face. Go on. Hold on. Here we are bought you some very expensive figs because I couldn't get any current grapes because apparently they ran out. Piggy face. Hmm? Piggy face? Work on it, sweetheart. Put your foot on it. Did you get all the grapes on that? Pretty sure you've got them all. Oh, you've got a couple left. All yours. All yours, sweetheart. Yeah, we'll put your wrist there and hold on to it. He's developed his own technique. He's got his wrists around it so that he can keep the big piece while he's forcing it into his mouth. So he's holding it with his wrist. See, clever boy. Somebody's gonna need a little bit of a wash over after this, aren't you? His grooming still leaves quite a bit to be desired. No photo bombing, sweetheart. No photo bombing. Aren't you a clever boy? Aren't you just a clever, clever boy? I think you did. Drop it, sweetheart. Mm. No grabbing. Well, at three dollars fifteen for that tiny bunch, it looks like it was a success. Nothing's been eaten from the big grapes. Nothing's been eaten from the pear. Nothing's been eaten from the melon. Pretty much all the yogurt's gone, but that looks like a success. And those are dark poos. Dark poos, I'm pretty 
Hey, Charles, that's budgetated at all. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, beautiful. Hello, Bigelow. Hmm. Are you still in bed? You are. Why are you still in bed? That's not your dummy. You're a big boy. Why didn't you get up? Ew, disgusting. You're a big boy. Get your clean dummy. Beautiful. Time you got up. 